at the Creative World Fair in the stand of Hannemühle. We've been explaining a lot of our paper. Obviously, there will be a lot more to talk about, a lot more different grades and styles and varieties and grams of papers. But now, we have one more topic to talk about, and this time I have Jan Wölfler with me, the CEO of Hannemühle, who's going to talk about print making papers. Explain to me the term and to the people watching. Yes, the print making papers are traditional analog papers, uncoated papers. We have a, a sizing, a surface sizing inside the papers and now those papers become very usable for digital printing technologies as well, such as UV printing, HP Indigo, Lambda and uh, the other ver ver uh, variety of uh, digital printing technologies. So let's have a look at the papers that you have sitting right here. This is a smaller format. I mean, you have obviously all kinds of formats, I believe. What's the largest in format? The largest format uh, be one size, like a very large sheet size. We can basically cut to whatever sheet size you would like. And uh, that I mean, is like something. Two meters, three meters? Yes, you can uh, two meters, three meters, 100 meters length, oh, whatever really? you want. Wow. Uh, and, uh, and that's something usable for UV flatbed presses, like uh, UV printing a flatbed presses like uh, from um, Swiss Q or from EFI, from HP or Canon. The, so those uh, UV printing flatbed presses can handle the so-called printmaking sheets. Printmaking sheets, any size, there's no limits to the size. To the, to the width, it, the width is uh, according to the width of our printing machine, but the length is uh, hundreds and thousands of meters according to the length of, of the uh, jumbo roll, we call it. Jumbo roll, wow. And the machine, how big is, uh, I mean, would it be the, the height or the width or the depth? How would you call it? So we can uh, go up to uh, two meters two wide meters. width and, uh, and the length typically it's up to up to 2,000 meters wow. uh, depending on, uh, on uh, thickness. Has it, that happened? What's the largest print that you... No, the, the largest print we have uh, so far made is, uh, is about 125 meters width and, uh, and about 10 meters length. 10 meters length, okay. So, um, because you, excuse me, you, because you can also print on uh, reels, so you can put a, not only the sheets, but you can also put the roll into a printing system, and then it prints, uh, let's say, onto on, onto the onto the roll continuously. and rewinds continuously. Ah, and uh, how about the different grams thicknesses? Is there also all kinds of varieties? So the the thickness we can uh, manage uh, typically from 40 GSM up to 1,000 GSM. And 1,000 GSM is already kind of a, a, a carton, a, carton. Uh, a pretty solid carton, oh. which is uh, sometimes uh, sometimes actually used in UV printing. So you put your sheet or your carton or whatever substrate into a UV printing press, and uh, the, then you print on it with uh, UV inks. And which who are the retailers that opt for papers like that? What do they do with that kind of material? So typically, uh, print service providers uh, take such. Uh, uh, papers and then uh, such uh, prints also are being used now in uh, in art uh, to be uh, rep uh, presented at, um, uh, at to display art, uh, but uh, to to replace that very quickly. It's not that high cost. Mm -hmm. Basically, the prints uh, on printmaking paper um, and unlike on fine art paper, which we typically have in digital, which is coded, mm -hmm. and so it's more a kind of a more affordable way to to get uh, get started with fine art on uh, printmaking ah, okay, paper. Okay. So artists can draw on it yeah. because uncoated yep. or surface sized or you can basically then um, use it in, in um, new printing technology systems. Huh. And then if you want to go to the extreme high end, super ultimate high end, you take highly uh, coated fine art paper which be in, in water based aqueous uh, printers. Mm -hmm. So those are the highest quality but also very, um, very um, high priced uh, system. But for super and high end art, that's what you typically choose. But this is something more for the mid range, I would call it, for the art reproduction and space. Is there, um, I'm just trying to wrap my brain around it because it's something that it's completely new to me. I mean, being a kid growing up in the fashion industry, I know papers that are always like laced with something. So for the first time I'm touching this, you can do analog printing or like. Um, what are the different techniques you can... Analog printing as well. So we have just recently also published um, a book on, uh, on hemp paper, uh -huh. uncoated hemp paper. You can print with offset presses on uncoated hemp. 
paper. Offset press. Uh, or, uh, that's a traditional uh, printing technology. But also we just recently printed on uncoated hemp paper uh, a, a book with a digital printing machine. And, and that's of course very um, very unique also in book printing. Yeah. Uh, those printmaking papers which are uncoated uh, uh, are something for, for uh, also even book printing of applications. And what I'm holding here, I mean mold made printing ah, paper, that's yes. something special yet again in that category of printing papers. Yeah, is so that right? mold made is a special printing, um, not printing, a special paper making technique which is basically simulating uh, through a machine the handmade paper. Yeah, it's very textury, very it's soft, text, very, very um, textile, yeah. so it's uh, horizontally and vertically um, fibers are attached to each other by a very um, slow process uh -huh. which makes the makes the paper very robust and makes the makes the application really highly uh, capable and um, sticking to the surface. So this, you can do uh, also analog, digital printing, anything with this? Yes. Oh, I'd love to see some prints on it, but you don't have any here right now, do you? Uh, we, we do have some samples here, we can uh, look I at them. I would love to see that, yeah. just for a close-up for the camera, because I mean the feel is so amazing and it's matte. Um, obviously there's, you know, coated matte photo paper that I know, but this is uh, new to me, which is, um, it, it just leaves so much space for so many more questions, really. And um, is there anything really that I need to know for now? Just, you know, we're just sort of scratching a little bit so about So you, you cannot use a home printer, for example, to print on this. A home printer would basically, the water-based inks would actually sink in. So and it would, would bleed. Would bleed in, ah, exactly. Okay. So that's why you need new printing technologies like UV printing. UV printing. Or, um, or indigo uh, printing uh, or lambda which is high-end are big printing machines yeah. with special inks which basically have the uh, kind of coating already included in the ah, ink yeah, 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 yeah. and unlike the home off home printers which are water-based systems which is good water-based systems in home is good because very healthy so those UV printing systems you need to uh, cure out and it needs to, to, it takes some time until totally dry. How basically. about laser? Could I go on here with laser the laser? Laser printer also would work on, Could on this as well. Printer. Could okay. do a laser printer. Could do a laser printer. Well, even my brain going artistic in that sense, I'm thinking what if I would use a regular printer on here? Not for writing, obviously, but for an art piece and see what happened, you know? That's just yes. me. Uh, you can experiment, but the laser could work and the laser might have problems to stick on it depending on what laser, laser system, but but, uh, but that's uh, now possible for, for new printing technologies, yes. And the mold made papers, what thicknesses, what colors, what formats, what do you all have? So mold made, there's, uh, there are two sets of uh, mold made, mold made, print, uh, mold made paper making uh, print technology and then there's also Fudrenier paper making technology. Fudrenier is, uh, is our largest machine, that's, that's the typical state of the art Fudrenier print, uh, lay, um, paper machines. They are high, they're higher speed. Mm -hmm. They have an easier process to produce paper. They are a lot higher speed. Well, how do you say the word? Uh, Fudrenier. Fudrenier, see. Fudrenier <laughs> um, paper machines. Sounds and that like, they are a lot, lot higher. Uh, yes, that's a uh, French um, paper machines. And they are a lot, okay. a lot faster. They have a different way of, of, um, of putting the paper uh, into the system. And uh, the mold made machines are horizontally and vertically uh, really shaping the, the fibers and put it onto, onto the the, the system like you would do it by hand. So okay. it's not really uh, artificial, it's really handmade, basically mold made. It's is handmade. It, is it a niche this day and age or is there a lot of demand for it? It's absolutely niche. There was only five mach mold made machines oh, wow. in the in Europe available. Wow. At Hanemühle there are two of those five. Wow. There's one in England, one in France, one in Italy and two in Hanemühle. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I'd love to see a print on, do you have on mold made as mold well? Mold made as well, yeah. Yeah, I need to see a print so that we can really uh, have an idea of how it transfers onto paper. And we have this paper also uh, coded since 25 years in the digital fine art business. Uh, and uh, those you can uh, print on with the aqueous printing, white format printing systems, which however have uh, the ink, for example, a liter ink for that aqueous system is 1,800 euros. One liter ink for UV wow. printing systems is about 60 euros. So the, the print service providers um, choose and try to push the lower cost ink obviously, systems. Obviously. And, and uh, slow, slowly but surely the technology of, of UV printing uh, becomes more, becomes acceptable towards in comparison with water-based inks. Okay. But water-based still has the edge in terms of quality and everything. That's no question with high quality coding because I would shoot myself in the foot if I, uh, if I would 
not be able to uh, basically present our digital fine art uh, papers even at the, at the higher end in terms of uh, quality and longevity as well. Very interesting, very interesting. For me, it's really just a whole new chapter that's opening up and I'm like, oh, I'm awestruck. I want to see some prints on the mold made paper. paper. Yeah, let's maybe we get to see. Uh, some prints that you have here, otherwise that's to come. Um, anything and you'd like to add? Yes, and we do have actually here very high and, uh, and w wide format uh, samples at the wall, oh, which yeah. you can look at later on. Uh, this is the size, for example, which you typically would use in an in a offset sheet fat press or indigo press or a lambda press, for example, in, from a digital site. And Thank you, you could also use that then for advertising for, I mean, it's transparent. In yes, it's black, you can backlight, backlight, backlight it, it. and oh. uh, you can uh, use it as a, as, a, as a really nice testimony of your art. Yeah. So we'd have to turn off the lights in the front and then we'd better see what's lit in the back because I'm sure there's not just the frame that we see, there's probably a logo behind that as well that we don't yes, see, right? Yes, you might have uh, embedded logo, so you can also embed uh, through the system logos into, into the paper as well with our mold made machine because it's very slow. We can put frames on the on the print on the paper press, and then uh, you have your own um, logo embedded into the paper actually as well. Interesting! Wow, because yeah, it's it, it, it's so textury. I mean, it feels really. It's my f second favorite paper to touch, apart from the other one, which has nothing to do with this range. The velour that touches oh, like yeah, velour, like a like peach. A <laughs> it's it, it's a whole new experience for me. So that's also a whole new experience for me. Um, I had no idea about these um, printmaking papers, analog and digital, you can go either way, any format, no limits basically. Anything you'd like to add? Well, thank you very much. That's about a new, a totally new um, area which is just, just starting and uh, the print service providers who are there, they start and go ahead and we'll certainly see more and more coming. Very daring, very forward thinking. And if you think about that, there's only five machines all over Europe and Hanemule has two of them. Think about that one, let that sink in. I'm gonna let all this information sink in. And I just wanna thank you for the information, Jan Wilfer, and thank you for tuning in. Thank Thanks. you, Danny. Bye. Bye-bye.